Hi, I'm Andy Sway, a spiritual healer in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. And here's another one about emotional reactivity. And this is about how emotional reactivity blocks authentic emotional self-expression. So I'd like to differentiate between emotional reactivity and authentic emotional self-expression and start off by saying it can be really hard to tell which is which which is kind of making my point for me um, what happens is all of the emotions where we get reactive also have an authentic aspect okay so for example anger is one of the main reactive emotions that causes a lot of problems in people's lives but anger in its purest most authentic form is an emotion that kicks in when we see something wrong. Like you see somebody beating up a little kid. You see somebody committing whatever kind of violence against a, a helpless person. The anger will kick in. It will give you a surge of adrenaline so that you can take action to rectify the situation. And in that case, anger is absolutely appropriate. And every emotion is there for a reason, and therefore there is an appropriate time for that emotion. The problem is that because most people don't learn how to process their emotions, they end up with a lot of stuck, reactive emotions in their emotional system that then get triggered and cause a lot of trouble and a lot of drama. And so what I recommend is that you look at, first of all, what, what are your main reactive emotions? Do you go into shame? Do you go into feelings of not being good enough? Embarrassment? Do you go into anger? Are you triggered into anger very easily? What are the emotions that you most don't want to feel? That you actually might organize your life in certain ways to not feel. And then think of, well, what would be theoretically, a very authentic expression of that emotion. And try to get a clear idea between the two. And give yourself a little leeway here because the thing about reactive emotions is that we usually feel very justified in having them. It's like, um, I was picked on my whole life and I'm not going to take it anymore. And if anybody picks on me, they're going to get it. And then you overreact when you think somebody picked on you. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they were joking around. Maybe it was a lighthearted thing that you took the wrong way. You know what I'm talking about. But realize that a lot of your most reactive emotions 
are held in by a self-justified thing that comes from your past trauma. So that's a good way to find out if an emotion is reactive, it's going to be linked to things throughout your past. And there again, things can be confusing. When things happen to you, you learn lessons and you learn how to avoid these things happening in the future. And so a lot of times the reactive emotion that seeks to avoid those things is something that we feel is protecting us. And so we're not going to let go of that, right? If, if you were picked on all the time and then you beat up the bully, all of a sudden beating people up might seem like the solution to everything. Trust me, it's not. Um, but the thing is, when you beat somebody up, you're going to feel justified because you're going to say, I'm not going to take it anymore like I took it all those years and all that stuff. So you need to really look at, is this reactive emotion or is this emotion grounded in past trauma past embarrassment, past shame, whatever it is. Is it anger that you never expressed then and now you're expressing it all over the place? So this, this job of examining our buttons is a big one. It takes a lot of work and a lot of times it takes another pair of eyes and, and another person's intuition. And for my clients, that's where I come in. So if you'd like help, if you'd like me to walk you through one of these emotions and see what's, what is what, get in touch with me at andysway at yahoo.com or check out my website, andysway.com. There are a lot of different services I offer besides emotional healing um, and get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. Please like, share, subscribe, or leave a comment and especially leave a comment if you have a question that you'd like me to answer in a future video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.